Hello everyone, Larissa here. And this video comes to you via Of Houses and Trees, where I blog about sustainable design, sustainable living, sustainable everything. One of the things that I do a lot over on Of Houses and Trees is use Pinterest. And of course, I am not the only one. So if like me, you are wondering how to print a Pinterest board, uh, this is how you do it. And because we all have different computers and use different browsers, I've got four different uh, configurations that you might use. So make sure that you jump to the section that applies to you and let's get right into it. All right, here we are in Chrome on a Mac, my Pinterest board that I want to print, which is my modern boho living room design board. Uh, you are going to either go up to File, Save Page As, or you could also just right click in the white space, Save As, uh, and you're going to make sure that it says Web Page Complete right here. I'm going to save mine to my downloads. All right, here I am now in my downloads folder. You're going to ignore this HTML. You're going to go into here, uh, organize them by kind. If you don't have this uh, in your little uh, top menu bar here, you would just select it here. Click on kind. You're going to delete everything that is not a JPEG. So all you have to do is just select it like that. Just scroll down and select and trash it. Same thing with these ones, trash it. Okay, and then you're going to look at them as um, icons and whether you want to keep your Profile picture on there is up to you. You might want to use it for branding purposes. I do not, so that's gone. Uh, and now we have all of our pins. So I'm going to select them. I'm going to double click. This is going to open it up in preview application, which everybody should have if you have a Mac. Uh, you're going to go up to view contact sheet. Now this part here is kind of fun because you get to actually drag your pins around. So if you want them in a different order, then they automatically show up. Then this is when you would change that order. Or maybe it's fine just the way that it is, totally up to you. When you're happy with that, you're going to go up to File and Print. Okay, so now we're on the Print tab. First thing you should do here is say Scale to Fit. Then you are going to go to where it says Preview. You're gonna pick Layout. And you are going to choose pages per sheet, which essentially is your pins per sheet. And I'm going to pick 16 because I have 15 pins. Of course, if you have less, you could pick less, or if you want them to be bigger, you would pick less, and then you could print out a few different pages on paper made from recycled materials, preferably, or on the back of paper that you've already used. Uh, and so once you've chosen which amount you want on your page, you would simply either choose your printer and print it, or you would PDF and save as a PDF and then save it to your desktop or your documents and you're good to go. All right, now here we are in Safari. And for Safari, unlike with Chrome, you can't just save the whole web page as one and use the images. You actually have to save each image one by one which is kind of annoying, but um, if you don't have too many pins like me, I only have 15. So you just right click on the pin and say, save image to downloads or save image as if you want to put them somewhere else. So you just quickly zip through that. All right, so now I'm all done that. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder. And there we go. There are all the images that I just saved. Uh, now I can select them all and open them up. They're gonna open up in preview. And you can go now view, uh, you can go contact sheet. If you watched the part of this video that was about printing from Chrome, it actually, this process is here after you've saved everything is the same. Uh, you can drag this around and organize how you want them to be printed out or maybe they're okay the way that they are. Once you're happy with that, you say File, Print. Uh, you're gonna make sure to scale to fit. You're going to go to Preview, Layout, Pages per Sheet. You're gonna pick one of these numbers here. I'm gonna pick 16 because I have 15 pins. You might pick less. 
and then you could have multiple pages with bigger pins. Choose your printer, print it out, or pick a PDF and save as a PDF. And that's it. Okay, so now here I am in Chrome on a Windows. I've got my modern Boho living room board up. This is the one that I want to print. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on save as. I am going to make sure that I have the web page complete selected. I'm going to save it here in my downloads folder. All right, you're going to ignore this file. You're going to open up this file. You're going to uh, view by list and you're going to organize or sort by type and delete everything that is not a JPEG. Okay, and then once you're done that, you can go back to view as an icon so you can check that everything is there. Uh, if you don't want your profile pic to print out, then you would also delete that. And then there, you should have all of your pins from your board. You're going to highlight them all, right click, say print, and you're going to select uh, one of these options here. So I like this nine uh, image page. Uh, you would deselect this fit picture to frame as well. Uh, yeah, I think this is probably the best option. I mean, it really depends on how many pins you have. If you only have a few, you could pick the four. Uh, if you have more, I would pick this one. You could also pick the contact sheet, which is 35 uh, pins per page, but then you end up with the file name underneath it, which might not bother you, but if you're going for a more of a clean look, then you might not want that. And then you would pick the nine and do multiple pages unless you have less than nine images and then just the one page would be fine. Uh, you select if you want to print it to PDF or to one of your printers and then you would print and that would be it. All right, so here I am in my modern Boho living room board. I'm going to, and I'm in Firefox right now, I'm going to right click in a white space. I'm gonna say save page S. And then I am going to save it to my downloads. You can save it wherever you want. Desktop, downloads, documents, just wherever you know that you'll find it. Be sure to save it as web page complete and not one of these other selections. So save. Okay, so here I am in my downloads folder now. You'll see that two things have saved. Uh, you're gonna ignore this one and you're just gonna open up the file. And you're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff in here, but that's totally okay. You're gonna organize it view by a list, you're going to sort by type, and you're going to delete everything that is not a JPEG. Once you have all of your JPEGs only, you're probably going to notice that there's a lot of them, more than you had pins. Uh, you're going to view them again by icons, so just medium icons, and for some reason, uh, multiple I've saved up your pins but that's okay uh, you're just gonna delete all the extra so you're gonna keep one of everything oh and also uh, your profile picture will have saved as a JPEG so unless you want to keep that on for branding purposes you will also delete that okay there now I have my uh, regular amount of pins and now I'm going to just highlight them all select them I'm gonna right click going to say print and then you're going to pick the layout that you want so um, on Windows really the only kind of good options that you have for multiples on one page is four so if you only had a few pins this would be a good choice um, oh I also recommend uh, deselecting this fit picture to frame so that it fully fits in there um, you could do wallet which I feel like is probably the best choice because the next size up is contact sheet and if you go to that you'll see that it actually prints the um, very long number and letter file name, which you probably don't want, but if, if it doesn't matter to you and you want lots of pins on one page, then this is the option that you would pick. I personally would probably pick this one and then just do two pages or maybe you'll only have nine or less pins. Once you've done all of that, you can pick whether to print it to a PDF or print it to your printer and you just hit the print button and you're good to go.
Thank you so much for watching. If you've never been over to Of Houses and Trees, I would really appreciate you going to check it out. I've got green tips, design, decor, sustainable products, e-design services if you need help greening your home, and you can also subscribe to my newsletter. Let's be tree huggers together.